shades. Bitch. Must be in the car. Defecate. In the car. Everybody's here. Dopey, sleepy, hunky, chunky, monkey. Uh, out the car. Go. My poop. You ready to go? Come on. And then we'll just have to fill out the regular morning sheet right there. Yep. This and then this food bag is sitting over there. Okay. Right. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. <coughs> Let's go! God. Let's go! <laughs> <sighs> uh, tired. Uh, I feel like ass cheeks press together and then they're also spread apart I feel like ass cheeks always and forever I feel like a fart that no one misses Everyone dismisses the stench of me. Let's go, 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 go. Oh my god, we gotta go. <laughs> well, hello, gorgeous. Well, hello, gorgeous. And then my mind, my, my mind was blown out of my ass. Well, that has to fit because reasons. Is that? Mm. Oh no. Oh man. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Jeez. Well, hello, internet. Welcome to real life. I got a lot of things to say. I was gonna say, I'm sorry to make this video longer, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very, very long. I don't know what I'm recording. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what video I'm making. It might be a super long one. It might be a bunch of videos. I don't know. All I know is my goal as far as recording and videos goes is to record the whole trip and try to make some kind of video out of it. Easy to say when you're watching us in the future, but at this very moment, I have no idea. So it has been a long time since I've made a moto vlog or a video on the motorcycle. Um, not sure how to make that story short, but one thing I was thinking is when I ride, I ride for me.
I'm not out there trying to do anything or make any kind of video. I'm just enjoying myself. So I've been enjoying myself on this. I realize you probably haven't seen it. I got this about six weeks ago. I flew to Texas and then rode it home to Kansas. That was about an eight hour drive. Kind of got acclimated to it. Customized it quite a bit. And then about a month ago, I rode it to Colorado and I did a trip. Um, I'll talk about that trip and show some footage over this so it's not as boring. I recorded it because I record everything, but I wasn't planning to make a video. But man, there was some pretty stuff, so I'll show it. The route was me to Pueblo to visit my friend, which is an eight-hour stretch I've done many times. Then I decided to do an eight-hour loop north to Denver and then west into the mountains. So that was an eight-hour loop. And then I did a different eight-hour route home. So that was a fun little like kind of trip where it was kind of new, but also kind of not. And I made it a goal when I got this bike, which I don't want to talk about too much, I am making this video shorter if I can, was to try to go on a trip every month. So based on the weather and based on the distance, I'm trying to choose a different place to go. So anyway, footage of the mountains, it was some of the prettiest crap I've ever seen. So now I'm going to ride a route that I've plotted out to go around Lake Michigan. So that's north because it's freaking hot. But up there, right now I've been checking the weather every day up to, it's looking like it's going to be just perfect. So I'm going to do like a figure eight. I'm going to go up, or is it south? I don't know. I have it written down. But I'm going to do a, to Chicago, sleep there. Uh, that's a day, like eight hours of driving at least. And then a the second eight hour day up to Bay Harbor, which is the halfway point. And also, coincidentally, I guess, happens to be like the top tourist spot in the country. So that's cool. And then I'll do an eight hour on the other side. Well, I guess I'll stay there for two days. Then I'll do the second half of the trip. We'll do an eight hour on the second half of the lake. And then an eight hour on the other figure eight back home. And I've done maybe a little bit of this. I've gone east several times, but never that far north. So there's going to be new roads for me. Um, I'll talk about this bike a little bit. I'm not going to do an overview, really. This is like a, a quick fast forward. But most of the mods I did myself. I don't know what this video is going to be. I'm just going to record everything. Um, you are probably going to see a lot of nothing, a lot of silence, because when I ride for me and I have fun, I'm usually very quiet. Um, and I think it's important for me to enjoy myself, be myself. Sometimes I do talk and I do want to like address you guys and go, hey, guys, yeah, what's going on? Whoa! And I'll do that sometimes. But generally, I just want you to see what I see. And hopefully that's entertaining enough because I don't know what this video is going to be. I just pulled over. I didn't go very far. I pulled over because I have a card. I my own money because it's the start of a road trip in the morning, which means I would and was just starting to listen to Reliant K's album, Forget and Not Slow Down. That is a sunrise take off and go soundtrack for me. For me, when I do a trip, like a road trip, whether it's in the car or on a bike, the morning goes by the fastest. So I look forward to the morning the most. So if I get the earlier I get up, and the sooner I go, the faster the morning part of the trip goes. This is supposed to be the fast part. And that requires me to be quiet, listen to my tunes. So I'll be doing that here pretty soon, but since I'm recording, I guess I'll say some stuff. Anyway, the reason I'm going to Bay Harbor specifically is because I, not, not just that I don't want to go ride randomly and not know where I'm going and anything, as I have to know, because I have to be back, and I have to know when to be back so I know how to, to get to my dog and stuff. I can't just literally take off and go anywhere I want. I have to plan something. Aside from that, me personally, I like to have a destination of some kind. It can be ABA, or it could be ABA, I hope that makes sense. But I wanted some place north, so I picked like close to the border, like, oh, the lake, I'll ride around the lake around the coast, that'd be really cool. I think that'd be awesome, it's to ride them out. It's like eight hours of riding per day. So yeah, it's, that's, that's a lot, but I can do it. Although I should say, I've never done a trip quite this big on a motorcycle. I've done it on, in a car, but that just doesn't count. It's just not the same. Cars are so easy. On a trip that goes about eight hours a day, and takes about a week to do, and that goes north, and that has a halfway point around the lake, and that doesn't go back on the exact same road that I took out on, this is the route I came up with. Ah, just thinking, I wish I had water. I do have water. I have a nice hydration pack, but I can't really use my hand to get to it right now because the traffic's too intense. I've had a hydration pack in the past, but I stopped using it because it just made me have to pee all the time. <laughs> but then uh, when I rode up from Texas, when I picked this up, I was like, dude, I wish more than anything I could just be sipping on water because this is awful. And on a long trip, it makes more sense to be hydrating, especially if you're sweating it out. But in the past, when I've been using a hydration pack, I've been 
riding in town, so it didn't really matter. I could just stop to get water whenever I wanted anyway. Broadway exit only. Ugh, that's not what I want to be. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Oh, that's a cool ray of light coming in. I don't know why that tickles me, but I like stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I forgot to mention this. Kind of, uh, I mentioned I want to do like a big, quote, trip every month. So like, oh, two or 3,000 miles in a week, something like that. Um, and I want to learn how to moto camp. But the end goal, something I've wanted to do for a long time, is I want to be able to ride around the lower 48 states. I want to do a trip that'll take like a whole summer, like three months, and I want to hit every state. Before I do that, first of all, I need a good bike. Now I have a good bike for that. And I want to know how to do moto camping so I can enjoy that and save some money. And I have to learn how to do that still. And I want to be able to, what is this guy doing? I want to be able to have gone on some longish trip so I kind of know generally what I'm capable of, the kind of things I'd have to pack. Practice basically. I want to practice traveling on the bike and I want to practice moto camping. This is a step in that direction. This is the biggest motorcycle trip I've ever done. That being said, I am not the least bit stressed or worried because I know ugh, those are awful. I am not stressed at all. This is going to be a good trip. Oh. See those highway pegs I put on? <laughs> oh, they're nice. Everything nightmare they got a phone. Everybody's all just to get out of the world. I haven't heard that in a long time. Is that still their thing? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Subway. Shade. Shade is what's up. Sorry, did you say something? I say that's a great bike. Thanks. It's almost as good as your car. No. I was parking here for Shade. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm going to ride around the Lake Michigan. So I'm going north. We just did that uh, two weeks, three weekends ago. Did you ride around Lake Michigan? Yeah. What did you ride in? that huh we broke it in we went up to we're in central illinois so we went straight north through wisconsin we did a big ass loop of the up uh-huh and then went down the other side yep that's what i'm doing where are you from middle of illinois decatur so you're heading back home no we're, we're going to omaha okay yeah. yeah i'm going to illinois so that's cool yeah very cool cheat. there's that there's a ferry at I saw that. I was like, I'm tempted to take the ferry, but no, I want to do the whole... Be careful of that Mack Bridge, though. Mac it's metal. It's way up in the air. If you got sideways wind. Ooh. All right. Cool. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Just have a safe and fun trip. Yep. <laughs> uh, fun, fun little world. Hi. Hello. Sorry, what? Enjoying your tour? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. You can't drive down the road, need? Not with my helmet. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. You get the ice? I've never seen a setup like that. Like what? Single swing arm. Oh, well, a lot of BMWs are like that. It's a uh, shaft driven too. That's cool. Yeah. This smells super raw. Wow, that's awful. Go. Thanks. Am I in Missouri right now? I must be in Missouri. Yeah. So you're about, uh, oh, let's see, maybe not quite a third over. 
going west. Okay. Now, you plan to get one or just taking a break? I think my next one's going to be a trike. Just want something easier and I'm convenient? Down, and doing action is. Mm -hmm. You got a YouTube channel? I do actually. Really? Yeah, here. It'd be neat that, that now that I know who you are, I met you. Can you watch it? This is me. That's for you. What do I do with this now? Well, that's just a keepsake. Um, I designed it to open beer bottles, but I don't think it will work. I think it's too weak. A little bit light, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a keepsake. That Walter, just tells you. If that's your. Yep. Walter. My name is Walter. Walter, I'm Gary Waits. Nice to meet you. You too, sir. I'll make a video about this, and you'll be in it. That's what I forgot. Right. I forgot I had this on my head. I forget sometimes. Is this why you thought I had a YouTube channel, or was well, it something yeah, else? That's okay. I, seen that and I thought he probably just touring the country, making YouTube channels, having a hell of a time. Yeah. <laughs> I met a couple who are, I think, older than you. What do you say? You're. Uh, I'll be sixty. Sixty. They were almost. They were at least seventy. Guy and a gal riding a couple of these, yeah. and I met him in the mountains of Colorado at a gas station like this. And um, he's pointing at his panniers and pointing at stickers, his badges of honor. He says, you see where that is? I said, that's, I said, that's another country. He goes, yep. And I said, you fly these motorcycles to other countries and ride them? He goes, yep. So you've been all over the world on these bikes? He goes, yep. And you're still going? He's like, yep. I'm like, that is awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of folks that do that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be that person, but uh, we'll see. I just saw one of these the other day. How do you like it? You shopping? No. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> no, it's not for sale. I Sorry. For sale sign on. I didn't know how curious you are. Well, I like it quite a bit, but that's the short answer. I hope you get that trike and Hello. go on a big yeah. trip. We'll see. You've got to do Hello. a few things yet. I'm trying to make things around the house for 20 years down the road. I don't have problem accessing in and out for her ride. That's a good idea. Get all that taken care of now while I can. Mm hmm. Done. Believe me. I'm I'm excited for you. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a good day. You too, be careful. Thanks. Good to go. We case nice i know she got the mega mega rig mega fat one you got all the gear man Jesus. yeah I, <laughs> I guess i do oh it's a bmw i didn't recognize what kind of bike it was I, I didn't recognize it was a bmw yeah. it's a smaller older gs yep it's a 650 huh plenty big for me um i've had ninja 650s i love those um where are you from and where are you going do you live here it says louisiana so i assume you're traveling uh, yeah new orleans from new orleans where are you going um so i was visiting family in st louis and i'm on my way up to uh, iowa okay muscatina iowa and then i'll head back where are you stopping just airbnbs hotels you know, I, I have friends and then i usually actually since i stopped in st louis uh, my family's from muscatina iowa where i'm heading so i have a place to stay there but i usually have that's good equipment right here yep like, just like a one-man tent like very minimal setup i don't have everything like you do i want to learn moto camping i have to find a place to stay but i would like to be able to go out oh dude i mean you the space you got oh i have this i have the bike i just have i don't know how to camp i've never been camping before yeah yeah well i'll tell you literally i have three items that i strap here are the ratchet strap i mean you have plenty of room uh -huh. literally a one-man tent sleeping pad which rolls up uh -huh. sleeping bag yeah i can i can get the stuff but i don't have the experience well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally, neither did I. Okay. Literally just set up, you know, I look up state parks along the way. Mm -hmm. That's where I like to stay, but there's private ones too, but state parks. That's my YouTube channel. I'll put you in a video later. Wow. If you want to see yourself. This is a, now, this is a card, man. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, it was nice meeting you. You as well, dude. Have a good, safe trip. Yeah, man. Keep, keep your rubber side down. Thanks. It's 
the halfway point. Well, technically it's over halfway. I'm four and a half hours in, three and a half hours left to go of driving time. And I'm pulling in to get lunch and gas. Uh, I picked the lunch spot because I just felt like Culver's. I didn't know where the gas stations were. I knew I was going to go to one before the other, and it turned out that I didn't see a gas station. I wanted to stop it on the way in. So I'm going to be right here. I'm going to pick up lunch and go back to the gas station uh, and eat the lunch and get gas and do all that at the gas station. I don't want to be stopped more than an hour, but I do have the time. Sorry, it's hidden right here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Come on, ice cream. Don't fail me now. Just be a good little piggy for a couple miles. You can do it. No, no, no. Be a good piggy. I told you. I told you already. I told you already. That's a 650. I can hear it. I love that sound. Get the ice cream up before it melts and falls everywhere. Figure out how to navigate around this person. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. You're just sitting in the middle of the... Dude. Don't know what you're doing. Anyway, get to the gas station. I got several things to do. Switch out the liquids. Get liquid in the spike, get liquid in me. And then uh, I'm gonna bust out my chair for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna make it felt the rear tire slip. Oh, I just really wanted to make it. Um, while I'm sitting down for 15 minutes on my sweet chair, having, a, having some ice cream. I gotta look at the map and figure out what's going on. Jesus visor. And he wiped that too. I got stuck behind a couple big trucks that were carrying slurry and that just sprinkled it over the front of my helmet, which is delightful. Stopping at whatever this place is. Is there a place with shade? Oh, they're all shaded. That worked for me. I'm used to, when I'm on this bike, being out in the freaking heat, so I'm just habitually looking for shade. The weather has been pretty perfect though. The high was 80. Probably going to stick around 80. That's really good. Really good for dead of summer anyway, late July. Oh, I hope my ice cream isn't ruined right now. <laughs> oh, it's upside down. <laughs> How far am I? An eighth way through the driving. That's not a lot. Halfway through the first day. All right. Thank you, you too. Well, yep. Nice to watch your videos. Okay, I wasn't sure if you're just reading the name or recognize you somehow. Oh, Is it both? Bike, that's why I started watching your videos because I got into writing. I think I stopped watching them because you moved out east or something. I ruined everything. I moved out east. Then I moved back home a couple years ago. Really? Now I'm riding out east. So cool well, small world. Well, what are you doing in the middle of Illinois? I live in Kansas City. Oh, that's cool. It's a spam card. It's a keepsake for you. I saw the bike when I saw it said Walt Trip there. What's this weekend? Where is that? Oh, well, I won't be there. I'll be at Bay Harbor. It's going to affect traffic. Yeah. Chicago, I, oh God, Chicago traffic is terrible. Well, you're welcome to sit here. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I gotta look at the map though and figure this out before this drink is done. I I like sitting on curbs on my brakes, and I th I thought, why don't I get a moto chair? It'd be way better than sitting there, and it is way better. Anyway, you're welcome to sit here. That's what I'm doing. Sure. 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 You want to use my chair? Yeah, I'll sit down. Well, try for just a minute because I get to use it all the time. I'm gonna go with Oh, okay. I don't know. I wouldn't be mad. I'd be I'd be sad. Oh, the windscreen's just really tall. I got the touring. I'm sorry. I I, really, I don't want to be on my phone, but I need to finish this. Rather be enjoying this small world coincidence of us being in the same place. 
astronaut. Like, if you're, I, I saw you inside mine, so I don't know, like, this is the weirdo with the GoPro. <laughs> no, I forgot that it's on my head. I forget sometimes. I'm, I'm trying to make a video of this trip. I wasn't planning to. I like the people watch. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to admit to that, but yes, people watching is fun. <laughs> I'm way overpacked. I don't need anything in here, but I have it. So I was like, well, I'll just fill it up with stuff. You never told me your name. Tim? Nice to meet you, dude. Be cool if I saw you again, but either way, small world, very cool. Thank you for staying high and hanging out. Next week? <laughs> Just send an email. All right, man, have a good trip. Thanks. I was so angry inside. I was bubbling. Okay, we are near the end of the first day. I'm probably an hour from where I need to be for my stop. And I realized, well, I gotta eat something. And this was the plan. When, my, when I come back through Chicago on the way home, I was planning to get a Chicago pizza for fun because, you know, it's stereotype. Wanted to experience that. But I realized, well, I mean, I have time. Maybe I could just get a pizza in Chicago on the way to my stop. So I was uh, suggest recommended to go to a place called uh, Luminati's. <laughs> Illuminati, Luminati's, I don't know what it's called. And I saw that there were three locations and there's a place out in Chicago, which is almost an hour from where I'm sleeping. I was like, well, I'll make a trip for it. Anyway, I thought there's gotta be one closer to where I'm sleeping. So I looked again at my last stop. And it turns out there are 60 locations in the state of Illinois. I was like, oh, sh okay, yeah, all right, well, yeah, there totally is one closer to where I'm sleeping. So I thought, well, I don't want to go into Chicago, like, deep in the city twice. But I'm willing to go to the pizza place now in addition to on my way home through Chicago. So I thought, okay, I will go ahead and get a test pizza. I will get a pizza on my way there. So anyway, I'm taking a detour to get pizza at Loom, whatever it's called, a little bit closer to where I'm sleeping. I don't know, but I'm guessing I'm an hour from my sleep place. I know I said that, but it's just a guess. So unfortunately, uh, Waze is redirecting me because of how much traffic there is. Uh, the exit I was gonna take, I saw it backed up and then Waze recalculated and now it has this really weird route. It wants you to go in this way and then out this way or something. It's trying to get me around traffic, but what time is it, 6.30? Yeah, 6.30. I can get to my place before dark, like 7.30 would be totally reasonable. I've kind of been taking my time in my stops, kind of, could have taken longer, but I think eight hours of driving time is just enough to have a full day, but also enough to get enough stopping time. So anyway, following this, I got 12 more minutes to the pizza place. I have no idea where it is or what kind of area it's in, but 12 minutes away, it's like a barely a suburb. I do like me my suburbs. This place is cool. This looks like it could be in Kansas easily. Looks very familiar. I've been pleasantly surprised and happy with how many people I've been able to talk to on the just the first day. I mentioned it when I was talking to somebody. I don't know if it'll be in the edit, but that's my favorite part of riding around, especially on trips, is just sitting at a gas station and having a drink and chilling out and then just talking to strangers. It's my favorite. And I've got to do quite a bit of that just on day one, so it's been awesome. Oh yeah, and I had the foresight and the foreskin to place the order for the pizza an hour before I was gonna make it there because I realized it could take a long time to make and I know where I'm going, so I placed the order. It's supposed to be done already at 6.50. This says I'm gonna get there at 6.50, so I should be able to have legit pizza time. Okay, am I gonna cheat here? I really wanna cheat. But because they're going, I'm not going to. I'm gonna wait here like a good little piggy. Man, for just a second, I thought I was from Black Bob heading north. It looked very familiar. Didn't have to get pizza. I could have just gotten any generic fast food restaurant. I'm like, I'm so close to Chicago. I have time. I'll, I'll, get a, I'll get a pizza, sure. This neighborhood looks so like normal to me. It makes me comfortable. I feel like I'm just getting home from a day of riding. I just want to like kind of stumble in my house, take my gear off and shower and just lay on the couch. That sounds amazing right now. I've been holding poop in for a long time. It's just the amount of poop where it's like, I have to poop, but it's not detrimental. It's like, abort, abort, I have to poop. I can feel that it's there, but it's just there. It's not like it's trying to get out. So I was like, okay, you're coming with me to Airbnb, I guess. Oh, there it is, it's tiny, okay. I'm guessing people are stopped here to pick it up, which 
Oh, curbside, okay. I guess this is normal. I guess I'll just stay here. Hello, Walter. Yep, I have a question. Um, can you do me a favor? I know it's extra crap, but when you come out, can you bring a medium and a large box so I can see how they fit on the bike? Yes, because that occurred to me on the way. I'm planning to come back through here and pick up pizza. I want to pick up pizzas and take them back to Kansas for my family. I thought it'd be really fun to do pizza time like Peter Parker and maybe stick them here, but I realized I have no idea how big those boxes are and how they'd fit. So I thought it'd be a good idea to like, like what if I had like a, a medium heat? I don't know, I just, it, it depends on the box. So I thought, well, I'm here, I'm gonna have them bring out some boxes. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna muddle over this because I think it's wrong. Hello. So that's the personal. Awesome, thank you. I thought I was gonna try to, cause I'm gonna come back through here in a few days. Yeah. I thought it'd be fun to take some back home to the family, but it kind of depends on. Yeah. What's what? Well, whatever I have is gonna have to keep for a whole day on the on the road. So, frozen one then. Do you do? Because it's, it's gonna be like 80 degrees all day. Would that keep better than a raw one? I would say so that would be safer. How far ahead do I have to order something like that? 24 hours. 24 hours? I'm excited. This is my first time in Chicago having Chicago pizza. Nice. Good so. Luck. So being the city, it's a little crazazy right now. A lot of blues is going on, so it's right. I heard about that. All right, well, thank you. A very, a very cool. Now, I can't get on the road right now because I got to get my plugs in. And I'm just doubting this map because maps says 50 minutes. This says 70. So somebody is wrong. But I'm going to stop the recording here. I got to take my helmet off. I'll keep recording. But yeah, that's the pizza plan. Also, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to keep. Very cool. All right. What's that? Have a good day. to your Airbnb. Out, right? So it's water bottle. Uh, water. That's water? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Oh man, I'm hungry. Well, it's gonna have to wait. Start of day two, I was packing the bike and thinking, I haven't done two eight hour riding days back to back. I realized, no, I have. I totally did. When I last month, when I was in Colorado, I rode eight hours there, stayed there for a day. Then did eight hours around the mountains and eight hours home the next day. So I've done this already. Anyway, I would have had the camera on my head at the Airbnb, but apparently it's a home full of niños. There's like kids running around. So I don't want to record kids running around in their own home. I didn't, I don't know. You never know what you're going to walk into with an Airbnb. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to not. But anyway, set up a little room. All I needed, got a shower, slept hard. I can't say the bed was particularly comfortable, but I was so darn tired. I just went, Ugh! and I just died. And I woke up and was like, oh no, I don't want to get up. But I packed up and I took off in about 40 minutes. So yeah, it's fine. Stopped right there at the nearest gas station to get gas and water, which reminds me, I got to reset my trip meter. Not that I ever look at it on this bike, but this bike I use a range meter instead. And now a quarter of my riding is done. Tired and hungry. I'm going to try to go for about an hour until I stop just to see if I see food. I think, yeah, Milwaukee is where I'm going to go. And um, if I see food, I'll try to eat something there. But I don't like eating before I take off. I like trying to ride for a bit. 
I realize I'm gonna get pictures of myself in the toll road, so I may as well just do this or something, because I haven't gotten toll pictures and stuff since I lived in Maryland, and I get them all the time, and it sucks, but that's what happened last night, by the way. It said uh, one hour, 20 minutes versus 45 minutes. What was happening was Waze was avoiding the toll road, which was 45. The other app for not avoiding it, that's why it said 45. So I was like, hmm. I'm running out a lot longer to get pizza. Do I want to go an extra half hour? Or do I want to go a half hour less and pay an extra maybe $2? Like, yeah, I really want to go stop. So I'm going to go take the toll road. Hopefully it's only $2. That's what it said. Actually, it said $1.40. So I'm like, yeah, $1.40 for 30 minutes of time that I can be sitting at my place and relaxing. I'm going to do that. The only thing that would make this trip better is if I had <laughs> if I had a limited time and money. So I knew no matter where I go, everything's going to be okay. I want to get to where I need to go if I want to go. And I don't have to be anywhere by any time. Not everything's fine. <laughs> That'd be really cool. If you're not in the lane. What are you doing? Only get out of your way because you don't you don't know what you're doing. You're freaking me out. You're on the median, lady. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You too, thanks. Thank you, sir. Yep. 221. Thank you. Looks uh, delightfully empty. <laughs> what? I really don't. I was first of all was questioning what you said, and second of all was like, is that a Wisconsin accent? <laughs> That's delightful. All right. Well, you. I think I saw your name in the email. John. It's a John. Well, thanks for inviting me out and give me a place to stop. Am I safe in assuming you live here? Yes. All my life. What town am I in? Green Bay. It's Green Bay? Yeah. What's the rival team of the Packers? Chicago. Chicago Bears? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you're scrolling the YouTube wall and then my post was there? Or? No, I went on to, on, to, on to your channel. Okay. Because I'm like, you know, I haven't watched him in a while, see what he's doing. Oh, it's popped up. You know, what kind of bike do you bike? Like one and one, and one and three. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, I'll watch that for a while. I'm like, oh, well, what else is, is he doing? I'm like, oh, he's taking a trip around Lake Michigan. Okay. Oh, he's coming to Green Bay. I should email him. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad you did. Thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping for. No, it's, it's like, why not? Why not? Do you have an accent? That sucks. Just what? like, just like me, boring, <laughs> generic accent. Yep. Yeah. You live here? Okay. Yep. No, I'm literally riding through. So I forgot that where I was until he started talking. Oh, I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my motorcycle class actually next weekend. Oh, cool. I've always wanted a bike. If I do get something, it's going to be probably an enduro, like a 650 Kawasaki. Um, like, um, which one specifically? Not a KLR. Whatever I can find that's cheap. My whole thing is, I want to be outside. Hunt, fish, canoe, kayak. I'm guessing you like to go camping then? I love to camp. We thought about moto camping? I thought about it, but there's no way that my wife would want to go moto camping. She and she wants. has to go with wherever you go? No, but if I'm going camping, she wants to go camping because she loves mm. to camp as well. So. You need a big bike for that then. Yeah. I have the most boring accent in the world, so. <laughs> Middle Midwest. Mm -hmm. Is it just me or was that a little spicy? A little tinge. A little spicy. Since you've been here, any recommendations about any part of this route? I would suggest getting gas or Mananette. Mananette? Mananette. Uh, it's right. It'll be. I think I just saw it. It was yeah. populated, then it went away. Yeah. There's a quick trip. <coughs> like 
Q quick trip or a no, key? K? The K. Yes. The real ones. The rock. But, but no, they, but no, the, the knockout. But they do have 91 <laughs> octane, no ethanol gas. There's a quick trip about two miles that way, mile and a half that way. Are you a fan of your quick trips? Yes. Is that, okay. Yeah, that's, okay. That's our go to place. Oh, okay. The food, gas, whatever you need, they have it. Okay. Um, Dolphins are always clean. Um, there's another. It's like our quick trip. Yeah. Going across the Mackinac Bridge. That might be windy. This bridge? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, might, that might be the one I was told about. Yeah, that one is that one is windy. How long is that bridge? A couple miles. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna be safe and get this one. So straight that way. Yeah. Okay. You can follow me. I, I live off that way. You want me to? I don't mind. You want to follow me off the bridge? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I guess after we get there, you're just gonna take off. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll lead you there and I'll, I'll be gone. Okay. Well, it was really nice to meet you. I, I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate your food. <laughs> no, it, was, it was cool to meet you. And I, Everybody's got to eat. But, yes, but I don't have to eat Chipotle. It doesn't, and I can pay for it myself. That's why I'm thanking you. Well, it was nice to meet you. I'll follow you. And then, so I guess, say hi to your family for me if you'd like. Do that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, you too. Ooh, that air feels good. Hello. Do you have to pay here for the pump? No, you can pump first, then come in and pay. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Place. Who'd you know that that does? Airbnb guest only. Hey, it's me. It was a dog. Oh my gosh. This is the best thing that ever happened. I'm so happy. Hey, Poop. How are things? Are you sad and poor and lonely and tired? Huh? Are you sad and poor and lonely? Aww. Aww. How are things? How are they? Huh? Where's your spot? Where is your spot? Is that it? 
You seem like you're indifferent, so maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Yes. We found it. How are things? Huh? Oh, hi, buddy. This is the best news that there is. It doesn't get any better than this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But you're a good listener, so you know. So these dogs are my son and his wives, and they're on vacation. They're in Kansas City. Huh? That's where you're from. Yeah. Um, Coincidence. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Small world. I keep running into small world stuff wherever I go. I, I met somebody on the way here who lived where I lived and knows me by somebody, so. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So they come and go as they please, as you can see. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the door or anything. No, okay. you do not go upstairs or you're in sleep, so. Yeah, okay. perfect. I should ask really quick, I have a camera. Do you want this off in your house or anything? I don't. You don't care? Bother me, yeah. Okay. Just yeah. making sure. Yeah. Um, so light switch for the stairwell is the orange one that's lit up. I do have night motion on that first step and I'm hand really so you probably don't even need it if you don't want it. But anyway, okay. here we go. Shared living room, mm -hmm. shared refrigerator, carry coffee, hot and cold water, I have tea over there as well. Bathroom, lights right here. Shared bathroom. Yep, shared bathroom, it gets cleaned daily. Uh, lots of towels, hand towels, I'll be bringing more up. There's stuff, Q-tips, cat balls, stuff like that. I don't think you have to worry about makeup remover. Um, but there's a sh shampoo, conditioner, body soap in here as well. Okay. So that's the Are there gonna be other people here? Or full. Okay. Uh, your room four. Nightlights here, nightlights in there. Good. I can't sleep. I don't have nightlights in the hallway. Really? No, I'm being sarcastic. I don't oh, care. Okay. So yep, light here. I don't have a fan on. Uh, Alarm clock has USB plug-ins for your phone charger, key to your room, your TV. Um, there is what your Wi-Fi passwords on that little board over there. Okay. Little thing for restaurant or restaurants, breakfast, lunch, and dinner we have there. People come and go as they as they please. Just get your right room. We've only had that <laughs> yeah, I, I, once. Won't, I won't get that wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, I say that, but I've lived in apartments and it happens to you sometimes. You'll walk into your apartment and go. Oh, shit. That's not my apartment. You close it because all the doors look the same, but it's happening. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think it'll happen. Yeah, so. that's it. Yeah, I don't have just be considered oh. to everybody else. So, okay. Very and cool. Winery's open until nine o'clock tonight. So we have beer, wine, and cider. We make everything here. I should stop by then, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yep. That's Mama Grady. Goldie, uh, Goldie, get out of there. She has to, come on, you're gonna get some. She has to bite the bees. <laughs> bite the bees before they bite you. You're so smart. All right, well, thank you. I'll see you later. Appreciate it. Fancy town. Potoski. What a fancy, cute ass town. Hey fellow kids, I literally just rode into town after I uh, got to my Airbnb, which is really cool by the way. Anyway, I'm just going to go home, go to bed. I didn't take the camera in there because I really didn't feel like, uh, I didn't feel comfortable with it, which is kind of uh, hypocritical and ironic because sometimes I'll wear a camera into places and sometimes I'm just like, I don't feel like it, but I didn't feel like it. You missed a couple jokes, jokes meaning interactions with people, but for the most part you didn't miss much. I was sitting there waiting for food like a schmuck. I was like shaking a little bit because I'm so fatigued and tired. I can't wait to go to bed. So I want to go to bed so badly that I'm like aggravated at this person for driving like a snail. That's what snails sound like. There are so many places here. So many activities. I gotta turn here. Yeah. Wow, this bike. I can 
just stand up on it. I wish I was in the zero more, like if I could choose, but this is pretty freaking awesome. But uh, I'm not used to little towns like this. I'm thinking tomorrow, when I come in here for breakfast, I have a mini meat schedule for breakfast. I'll come into town after breakfast. I'll probably scoot around and try to get familiar with it because it's kind of small. I think I'll ride around just to get vaguely familiar with like the layout. I like doing that for areas. I still have so many bugs in my visor. But, but there was a gas station between my sleep. I call it home. I was saying to myself, I gotta go home. But by home, I literally mean where I last slept, which basically is my spawn point. Anyway, I gotta go home. And on the way home, there's a gas station. I'm gonna stop by there and see if they have fluids. Ugh. Glad I didn't follow the map. I'm glad I used my eyeballs. Like, bruh, that road's not done. What's it now? 70 degrees, man. It's just been perfect weather so far. It's been nice. Those look more like we're closed type of lights. I can't see Jack. Okay, there's liquid. There's, yep. Okay, great. Could do it in the morning. I really just like getting it done when I'm supposed to, but I didn't see a gas station between. That was worth stopping at between, oops, cut, cut, between here and where I'm sleeping. Ooh, I actually can't see very well because it's really dark, so I don't know how good of a job I'm doing. It could be bad. I forgot the GoPro. It has to be clean too. My glasses are pretty dirty. They keep getting mucked up too. My shades, I should say, not my glasses, but I, I just can't see. I'm not going to mess with them right now. So my visor should not be completely caked in bugs. Let's go home. Woo! Cold, like cold. It's 68, no sun. Nothing on my arms, so it feels cold, but this is <laughs> this is as cold as the whole trip is going to get, probably. Woo! Nope, 66. It's getting colder. I can feel that. I think it's still getting colder. I'm dipping down. Woo! 65.5. Um, did I miss the entrance? What the? I must have missed it. I must have. It's right there. <laughs> if I had used my eyeballs, so I used my eyeballs earlier, but just right now, I was like, nah, we're good. Look at that cute freaking place. I found this place because it was like cheap and relatively close. I like those two things. I just want something cheap and it was available. This is very short notice. Turns out it's a pretty swank place. I'm sharing a hallway with at least four other rooms full of residents. So I have to be quiet on the way in here. Man, I'd be, I'd feel really bad if it's not a parking space. I'd feel really bad if I had the Super Duke right now. Wow. So I'm gonna try to sneak my way in here. Uh, I guess it's just these four. Okay, and I've got a back in this time. Because last time I nosed in, and this is an incline I couldn't get out. So that sucked. Alright, it's super quiet time. Disappointed there's no dog out here, but I'm sure I'll be here tomorrow. Alright, well, I guess uh we'll continue this Vita video video on the way to meet up tomorrow. Good morning, diabetes. I'm on my way to breakfast. Going to a mini meet that a past me set up. The Bay Harbor Butcher. It'd be a good name for a restaurant, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm early. I just didn't want to wait anymore because I was up and ready to go. Um, I'm heading to a restaurant to have breakfast. And I put the location on my uh, on the YouTube post so if people saw it, they were up in the show up when I'm there. I'll be there early, I guess. I have a real hard time living in the here and now in the present. My mind is almost never there. Not usually. Not as I'm watching YouTube and I'm doing a good job distracting myself, but the point of it, the moral story is I got this morning. I've been riding non-stop for like two days almost, and I'm like, I just want to go when I got this morning. I'm so tired, but I just want to go ride somewhere. I kind of thought that was going to happen, but the itinerary is the Bible, and it says you have to stay here for two days you don't you can go you gotta stay in one place just for a couple days you can ride around or worst case scenario you is me by the way or i can stay there and lay in bed and watch youtube for two days whatever just 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 relax a minute and then you can appreciate the riding when it comes but the most story is i've really enjoyed riding it's not easy it's simple it it can be hard at times but dude i don't get to complain very much because one i have like 
one of the best bikes to do this kind of thing on and two the weather's been basically perfect so i mean i i'm i'm really tired my eyes look like raisins but i feel pretty good anyway on to this morning going to the place gonna sit there eat some food I, I like those two activities sitting and eating so that's nice at some point today probably maybe immediately after breakfast i want to ride around i want to get a a layout of this is a lot but i just want to ride around for an hour or two kind of figure this out at some point this weekend i would love to find a beach and just sit there when i was when i stopped at that beach <clears throat> on the way up i don't know if i talked about it if i didn't i'll talk about it now i like when i'm traveling stopping to get a drink and just sitting like at a gas station and doing people watching that's part of the fun but i realized dude i'm, I'm riding by a beach i could just stop anywhere and sit with my feet in the sand and i am not like anakin because unlike killing younglings i would kill for younglings and also more importantly i love sand i like it all over my body and between my toes but the moral story is i had a great time sitting there on the beach with a drink my toes in the sand kind of in the shade and i realized when i watched the kids playing in the water and me sitting way in the back in my chair i was like i'm an adult because I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted to do was run at those waves as fast as I could and now I'm, I'm literally the opposite end of the beach, way in the back, just sitting back like, this is the best. But as a kid, watching the adults sit was like, what are you doing? That's so boring. But then as an adult, it's like, ah, you stupid kids. You, you'll you never learn. The water is always wet. <laughs> the good news about that is I get to appreciate just sitting down. I'm looking forward to finding some sand to sit at at some point today. I thought to bring a swimsuit, I might get a little wet, and then I'll be like, yeah, no, I, I just, just check it, but it is wet, and I'm just gonna sit back down now. Today or tomorrow at some point, I wanna do that. Is this where I was yesterday? This looks familiar. I'd be really happy if I was right, but it is. Okay, great. I have some recollection in my brain of where I've been. That's good. This is a neat town. It's pretty neat. Not what I thought it was gonna look like. I try not to look at pictures of places I travel to if I don't have to. Sometimes I have to, like last night before I came here to eat, I uh, looked at the street view to see what parking was like. And I'm like, oh, you have to pay to park. There's no way around it. Okay, good to know. Because I didn't want to spend last night driving around. So I didn't know what the neighborhood really looked like. I thought it looked like what I think Florida looks like in the movies. I'm not sure, but I had some kind of idea in my head that was obviously wrong. As much as I like traveling and going a long distance, I love riding in town. And I'll like riding in town here more as I understand the town more and I know where I am and what I'm doing. I keep bumping this mirror when I stop. I, I'm not sure how, but I always managed to hit it. Well, last night it's, I snapped it off. So I was like, oh, cool. So on my way back, I won't have that blind spot. but. It's not a big deal. This pair of mirrors I stuck on is like six bucks for the pair. So it's not a big deal. I'm not like, oh, heartbroken, but that's gone. Yes, it is time to approach the ocean. Damn it, I called the ocean again. It is time to approach the lake. The whole way up has kind of been like this, unfortunately, where there's a row of trees, usually ones bigger and deeper than this, where you're right by the lake, but you can't even see it. And that's been kind of a bummer. So the times when you can see it, it's like, nice. I just took some recollection. I've been riding for two days, sat down here, been riding for 10 minutes, and I thought, my butt hurts. And then I thought, but my butt has hurt way more after one day on the Super Duke. So this is the most comfortable bike I've had, that's for sure. 0.1 miles. I don't know what the restaurant looks like, but by 0.1, I guess this blue building? Right behind Sitco? This is it? Why, where is everybody? This can't be it. What is What is it talking about? This is a gas station. Okay, do I have the... Oh, it's over here. Whoa, I found it! Whoa. Dumbass. All right. The whole table is just staring at me like I'm some ugly foreigner. And they're not wrong, but anyway. Uh, that's it for this for now. Morning. Uh, one, please. I think I'll just sit outside. Perfect, thank you. You wouldn't happen to be a motor, right? Yep. How are you doing, man? Good morning. Nice to meet you. It is real fun of you. We're having a trip around the state. Oh, cool. So we got to stop by and check you out. Well, that's awesome. Where are you guys from? Uh, Brighton, Michigan. Michigan, okay. Oh, I s I'll grab you a spam card off my bike. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan, nice to meet you. So where are you guys going? Uh, well, we were going here until I saw the message on YouTube. Ah. 
There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys stopping here for breakfast or just going through? I will stop just for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you nice. recording right now? Yeah, do you mind? Because you'll be in a video if you want or if you don't want, I won't use it. I don't care. Okay. Can I get a photo? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for stopping to see me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care, man. Have fun on your trip. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Nice to meet you both. Thank you for saying hi. I appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. We need anything else at the moment? Uh, mm, butter. Butter. I'm gonna grab some. Thank you. Butter. How's everything tasting? Good, thank you. All right. Oh my gosh. 72, hell yeah. Thank you. Yep, thank you. All right, to the beach, bitch. What's up, my Potoski broski? My pa broski? My Potoski pa broski? Hi. Are you looking for my illegal stuff? What? Are you looking for my illegal stuff? I'm looking for a red passport, but you don't have one. Yeah. Two options is a $10 day pass and a $36 day pass. Uh, maybe give me a cheat code. Is this the only place I can go to stick my toes in the sand? Because that's all I want to do. Uh, That way being north. Do you know what the beach is called? It's it's like right downtown. Harbor Springs is super small. If you just Harbor Springs Beach. Yeah. Harbor okay. Beach. And I can stick my toes there. Do my toes need passports? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that then. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Thank you. You too. What was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? I want to ride over this hump. Oh, please let me crash. Be so stupid. What's over there? I can't see. Whee! <laughs> Ow! Tits and ass. Wonderful. Come on, stinky. Oh, my gloves. Where are they? Oh, my goodness. They're gonna fly off the bike if I don't pull over here. There's one of them. I probably lost the other one. There it is. I can't reach the ground. I can't reach it. All right, we're back to it. Same bike, just an older generation. Get over. There's a Ford GT. Oh my ass. Man, I want to see it up close. Like the windmills in Holland. Man, Ford GT on the road, moving, not broken. Operable, street legal. I want to see it. Yeah, buddy, I'm catching up. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. That is that. Ah, uh, ha, ha. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, an alleyway. That's sexy. What's not sexy is this guy going forward and backwards and forward and backwards. You lack the confidence. There's an R8 right there. Oh, I would get closer, but I want to freak her out. You can do it. Just hard. You're good. Yay. That is a sharp car. What the? You gotta. You can't stop at an intersection, man. Come on. I want to just like rock. Woo! Woo! <laughs> There's something very specific that I want to do and I kind of physically can't, kind of. I want to ride my motorcycle into the lake. 
it would feel very nice for like a second and the rest of it would suck. Is there a reason that's open? I don't see a reason. Where are you going? Why is your door open? There's no reason for it. Your shit's, you're on a, it's on a towel. That cooler's just gonna fly out if you gas. This is the strip of land I've seen on the map so many times. Didn't know what was on the strip of land, but now I know it's a marina. Uh oh, oh, so much fun when I'm with you. This area is closed. I'd like to politely disagree. I gotta back into this spot. The heck is that a train horn? I thought it was trumpets, and I was like, no. That's a train horn. Well, there's some sand, kind of. Fun times, so however, I really want to keep riding, so. Oh, that's so cool. You know how cool and impractical and impossible would be to have a kite on the back of your motorcycle? People would just envy you. That's a pretty picturesque tree, I gotta say. It's so picturesque, I'm gonna take a look. Whoa, it's like a postcard. Dear Sag, kicking ass and out of spice. Wish you were here. That looks like a postcard. I feel the compulsion. Yeah, screw it. That's some pretty good looking water. There's a, how do you get to that beach? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's part of a hotel. It's private property. Of course it is. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Come on. All right, good. Good parking, I like it. Just stay. Hello. Can I please have a good ass generic grilled cheese? Of course. What do you go for? Sorry, what? What do you go for? Everything. I'm on a trip around the lake and for like a week I'm recording everything on trip. I'm going around Lake Michigan on the motorcycle. Oh, and I'm okay. recording everything cool. so I can try and make something bike. out of it. Uh, BMW GSA. 1200? Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, I run a Yamaha yeah, Tenere 700. Oh, you have a tour on that? Or just, that? you have a tour on that or just take it dirt bike? I just got it. Literally. So, you ever had a bike? six months to get it. I would think you like being in the dirt if you're going to get a Tenere, you know? Oh, yeah. I yeah. came from Racing Moto. Oh, well, then that's probably be great for I, you. Yeah. I hate, I hate freeway riding, so mm -hmm. she's completely modded out. Mm -hmm. So your moto at heart. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm a street I kid. a lot of time in ER. I don't have the skill or the money to ride off road because you're gonna get to the yeah. ER and. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back and say, yeah. so nice Enjoy. to meet you. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. Ugh, that's an expensive grilled cheese. Always lying to me. Always lying so much. Oh my god, why are you always lying? Woo! It's hot. Always lying to me. Always lying so much. Oh my god, why are you always lying? Oh. Opera. <laughs> <laughs> Shutting to me, oh, it's lying so much. Hello. Hey, Poop. Hey, Phil. Thank you. Can you explain the difference between dry, semi, and sweet? Um, the difference? Yeah, I don't know what a lot about um, wine. Do you drink wine? Yes, I've only what? ever had Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so do you like sweet or? Not really. When it comes to wine or when it comes to... Like wine, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a good idea would be a try. I'm, I'm going to do a flight. Okay. Maybe a good idea to do a dry and sweet, dry and sweet, like a white and a red, so okay. I can see the difference. So if you're going to do a flight, then you just fill out one of these. It's like a chocolate. Like bars. And wine thing. Oh, did you hear chocolate? I don't have any. I'm sorry, Poop. I'm sorry. Chocolate? <laughs> She's like, maybe, maybe chocolate. You're just like me. You're just like me. You like the cold floor. Oh my goodness, the floor. Yes. Oh, you could just lay down. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know how to kiss? You know how to give a paw? 
Yes, you do. Oh, poor guy. Are you gonna sleep? Sleep. Thank you. I'll be back later. Appreciate it. Good. Good. Much more better. <coughs> Okay. Born more people today are living in abject poverty. Uh -huh. Did you know that Mike is short for bitch? I'm the reason your parents divorced, uh huh? You have it set to M for many, but it should be set to W for Wombo. <laughs> what the heck? Are those black squirrels? They sure are. What the heck? What the heck? I've never seen that before. I've seen gray. I've seen red. I even saw a pretty darn whitish gray one, but never that. That is so weird. <laughs> I make me laugh. Good job, mate. <laughs> oh, look at that, a parking space for me. All terrific. You look defeated. Is there a wait at the restaurant or something? Okay, well, that's subjective. How long is too bad? Oh, that's awful, I'm going home. <laughs> hey Pope It's me Oh, did you get all wet? No oh, Did you get all wet? What happened? I'm so happy you're here This is the best news It doesn't get any better It's the best news Yes Thank you for coming to say hi Sorry, Goldie, the master has spoken. I'm sorry. I don't have a goddamn day. Have I ridden this thing in the rain before? Mm, that's right, I was in the rain for like 10 minutes of this thing. I was on the way from Kansas to Colorado, and uh, maybe 20 minutes, but I had some rain. Oh yeah, I gotta tell a story, so. Guess what? Yesterday, a motorcycle pulled up at the Airbnb park next to me, came in, and the host introduced us to, she said, it was, Walter was just telling me here at the small world all the things that keep happening to him on this trip. And I was like, yeah. And I said, that's pretty crazy that two people on a motorcycle trip end up the same place. And she goes, no, his name is Walter. And I said, oh, your name is Walter? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that is crazy. We're both named Walter. We're both on motorcycle trips. So uh, there's a fellow named Walter on a motorcycle trip. I want to talk about him. Because uh, we talked a lot and it's just really cool. I didn't record him I didn't put my camera on my head because I'm kind of a little arbitrary I admit with when I choose to put the camera on my head and when I don't but my thought was he's at an Airbnb sleeping uh, He probably doesn't uh, You're a guest. This is basically your home. I don't want to bring a camera to someone's home without them Anyway, so I didn't have my camera on him, but we talked for a couple hours. I wanted to kind of recount our or his tail. So he is riding around the edge of North America. It's a 10,000 mile trip. It's going to take him six weeks. He started in Maryland, which is also another small world. And we both lived in Maryland, although he lives way on the east side. I lived on the west side. He just started a few days ago. Like me, he's never been to Bay Harbor. In fact, he chose it because he's trying to pick places that he's never been to before for places to stop. There's a bakery. Uh -huh. Can I park here? I say I can park here. There's no sign that says that I can't, so I'm gonna rock it. So it's really cool to meet him and talk to him, and that's my favorite part of traveling is just talking to people. Anyways, food. Bagels and donuts, oh my god. Hello, do you have cream cheese for bagels? Do you have strawberry? No. Oh, okay. I'll stick to donuts then. I kind of want you to choose one that you think I should have, because I'm... Whatever you choose. Thank you. Well, I wouldn't recommend it to start. Um, do you know what kind of motorcycle you want? We don't have a lot of time, but <laughs> <laughs> do you know what kind of motorcycle you want? Um, I definitely want, I was looking at a Kawasaki KLX 300. A dirt bike? Yeah, the one that's like dual so I can ride on the road too. Do you sh make sure you get the street legal one. I think the KLX is street legal. You, I think would really enjoy that. I was looking at dual sports myself and 
Yeah. Um, they kind of have dirt tires. I wouldn't want to ride that on the street in the rain. Maybe if you're going to commute to work on it, maybe get dual sport tires because I think it comes with dirt tires. But okay. that bike can get you around town. You can have fun on that, and it's cheap, and it's easy to ride. It's a good pick. Thank you. Yep, have a good day. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, so much recovery my bike last night. I thought I was being really smart. Or maybe I was up until this morning when I was like, I still have to go into town to get something to eat. I'm still going to have to get in the rain. All right. Ass is grass. I'm dog water. I know that in the past day I talked to someone else too who I was like, oh man, I wish I was recording this, but I can't remember who it was. I just keep talking to somebody. Oh, that's what it was. It was a couple at a restaurant I ate at last night. So, older couple, as an older than me, um, they were sitting next to me at the bar and they, they chatted me up talking about. Uh, traveling and whatnot although they're native to here local to here and um, that was nice talking to them I would have liked to have you guys to have seen them and see what we talked about but that wouldn't have really worked because I didn't want to bring my camera smack into a restaurant like that and also it was really loud so you wouldn't be able to hear anything on camera anyway the rain wasn't so bad when I took off but now it's already made my fingers kind of soaked and I'm already pretty done with this I've been telling everybody that I talked about my ride that the fact that the weather is gonna be great all six days no matter where I go and I keep Jinx again to finally caught up with me. Although I have to say today is the perfect day for it to be raining because I'm just planning to be sitting at home where I'm sleeping all day today. I'm not going into town. I did all that yesterday. So I don't mind that it's raining except for the fact that I still have to go into town to eat. So good day for rain, I guess. It might rain a little in the morning if I could just stop jinxing it, but um, it still looks like the weather's gonna be good for my two days riding home. And I'm pretty done going to speed of ass. I wanna go home. Speaking of which, I, I do wanna just start riding back home today. I was telling Walter that this morning because we talked for like an hour last night in the winery and we talked for like an hour this morning because he would have left already, but rain came that we didn't expect. So he was like, well, I'm gonna wait it out. And so while he was waiting and I were talking and I was mentioning how I, I do a really bad job at living in the present and whatever and I had, I had to make myself stay here for two days. That being said, this morning I got up and I was like, let's go, but no, I'm just gonna sit here instead. Whoa, ABS, calm your tits. Mm. Brr. 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 Oh, so the choice is gonna be made for me. Looks like they're out of NOS. No! No! That makes you sad. Alright, fine. Oh my gosh, this is so rare. I'm getting both. That's exciting. Anything I get, I have to be able to like just basically eat out of the box since I don't really have a kitchen. Ooh. Oh, please say yes! I'm like, oh, that is a big upcharge. Hello. Thank you, you too. Yeah, I did the same thing. Thank you. Yep. Okay, this isn't gonna fit. That's what she said, and I said, my lord, I will make it legal. I will make it legal. Okay, let's get back and out of this goddamn rain. For real. Very cute place I got to stay at. Very cool. I don't know if I've ever covered a bike while it's wet. But my reasoning is there's some electronics I don't want to just take off and take apart from the bike or whatever or get out. I'm kind of lazy to, too lazy. And I figured this will protect the electronics that are already on the bike. Where am I gonna drip at over here, I guess? my dry suckers dry comfy little chairs or you know what you're probably at work just listening to me in the background that's what I do for most of my YouTube videos but if you are not watching don't worry you're not missing much six hours to get where I'm going which is correct 
unless it wasn't wrong, which it is, because it wants me to go the fastest way, but I want to ride the coast. And so I don't usually go by road numbers or names, but I know i got to be on 31, which I know where it is because I was scouting it. Follow that, and then turn right onto 22 and follow that for, oh, at least an hour, maybe two, maybe three <clears throat> along the coast until 22 ends, and it turns into 31 again. So that's all i got to do. But that will take more like nine driving hours. So you that with like the three extra delicious hours for being out, that's 12 road hours, which accounting for the time change means I'll get there by 8 p.m. So before dark, I should still be fine. It was good to be on the bike again. I had weird dreams last night as one does. I'm pretty sure I dreamt about being on a motorcycle. I don't know which one it was, but all I know is it feels good to get on this one. I was really cooped up. So the two days I was there, the first one, that's when I did all the exploring and whatever, and that was like a good day where I just, I went everywhere and I did all the things. Done. The second day, yesterday, I didn't do much of anything. I think I went into town once with the camera on to get food, but it was rainy pretty much all day, and I just laid in bed pretty much all day, which is fine because I probably would have done that anyway for day two, and I told myself it doesn't matter what you do on day two, just be there. Don't go home yet. I was kind of cooped up yesterday. I was like, I want to go. I want to start riding now. But I'm glad I stuck to it because I said I wanted to or I said I would, and I did, and I like when a plan comes together. Yeah, I got all packed and out in 30 minutes, which is my goal. So I was like, oh, that's pretty good. And I'm skipping some breakfast. I just want to be out on the road for like at least an hour, and then I'll stop at probably McDarrell's or something. I don't know, and get a drink and just Maybe, I don't know if I'll get a drink. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know when I'm gonna stop. The plan is that there is no plan. I do have a deadline. I gotta be back, back. I gotta be to Chicago. What's that place I'm actually called? De Plain, De Plain, Illinois. Wherever I'm going, I have to be there before dark because the dark is very scary. And also because I planned a mini meet at nine. Not that I expect anybody to actually be there. Um, but you know, I, I said I'd be there, so I'm gonna be there. I was just thinking, I'm thirsty, I wish I had water. I do have water. I don't know if I can get to it though, because I'm going pretty slow right now. Hey, cruise control. Easy, done. I might have seen that place when I was looking for hotels. I think it's $300 a night, whatever whatever the hotels are, they're expensive. $300 a night, your mom's $200 a night. All right, I've officially entered new territory. I haven't been here, so woo! Okay, I'm a little concerned. Did I miss 22? Because I'm really far from the water. I, I'm gonna pull over, that was a perfect place to pull over. I'm gonna pull over and make sure I'm not missing it. Okay, Matt, give me good news. Tell me I haven't missed it. W where the hell, what, what, what? This is not north and south, what is this? Oh Oh my gosh, I hate waste sometimes. All right, bring up generic ass Google Maps. It took me out 131. I gotta turn around. Ah, oh, wait. Yeah, I gotta totally turn around. <laughs> Stop! I'm glad I thought to look. I was just like, this doesn't seem right. I'm starting to cut through the land. I should be by the by the lake. You come out to call it the ocean. It felt kind of weird. I'm like, why am I not going along the the, the coast? Using my superiorly retarded intuition, I was able to ascertain the answer. <sighs> Let's go back in the slow part of town, like this. We. I'm kidding, this is boring. By insisting that I go along the coast, I'm adding three hours today. But you know what? I believe that's the right choice. South. Ah, oh, I see, 31 South. This is the right way, there we go. There's either a motorcycle behind me or a car with mismatched headlights. But it honestly looks like a car with mismatched headlights by the way that they're grouped together. That's exactly what it is. Huh. They look like a motorcycle with a car behind it. Like, no, they're just, they're, they're too in sync. Now here's the breathless place that was, which means that this is now new territory. I have not been this way this far out before. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the voice and turn on the music and get to cruising. It's not dropping, is it? Please don't. Oh, it's dropping. My tire pressure's dropping. I don't know which tire it is, but it's dropping. It's all right. Nobody panic. It's all right. It's all right. Nobody panic. It's dropping. I'm losing tire pressure really fast. I must have like a big puncture. We're going to pull off then. I got a big puncture. I must have a puncture. What's it? I don't see a safe. Yeah, this is pretty safe. 
This sucks, man. I'm gonna stay on the pavement. Ooh, I can feel that. Yep. You were right, bike. They look. Oh, no. I lied. Look at that. That's probably a possum's nail or a tooth or something. You know what? I have a patch kit I've never tried to use before, but it looks like we're gonna have to figure this out. I am going to pull that back a tiny bit. Put your dick away, Walter. Oh. Miss the kickstand. <sighs> Oops. I've made that mistake on the Duke before where I thought I put the kickstand down, but I didn't quite make it. I think that came from, yeah, right there. I ain't going back on today. I don't want to call roadside assistance, but I am paying for it. And even if I fix this, I have no idea if there's any air pump anywhere nearby. I don't have one. So I'm going to put in a call. And while they're trying to get here, I'm going to try to fix it if I can. Push this all the way in and out, probably uh, two to three, maybe four to five times. This bar on the way makes it suck. I kind of wish I was a mechanic so I could balance tires. Every time I finish balancing, rotating tires, I go perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh no! It's making goo! Goo! Perfectly balanced. This is gonna take 50 years. Perfectly balanced. A little bit more blood, yes. A little bit more blood, yes. Ain't got nothing on a $20 patch kit, bitch. Ow. Ooh, that's disgusting. Using the supplied knife, it has a knife? I guess that's a knife right there. Okay, cool. It's amazing with all the crap I have on my bike, I didn't bring a knife. Cut this crap off until it's perfectly balanced. I just can't stress how perfectly balanced this is. This kit is apparently good for five patches. <clears throat> And with, if this is good for five patches, then that means a lot, so. All right, fun part, let's assemble the gun. Where's my gun? Tenere, he's so happy and blissfully ignorant of my suffering. I wanna ruin that for him. Wait, five patches, only four seals in here, Never mind. Is this enough to fill the tire? I don't think so. All right, here's hoping that we get some sexual magic. Damn. <laughs> Nothing happened. Are you joking my ass? There it goes. Yeah, buddy. That's not gonna be enough. No way. Low. Oh, yeah, no shit. I'm gonna try to patch this myself. I'm gonna get into town myself because if uh, Progressive can't send out an air pump, then I have no need for them. Yeah, I can't do that. Alrighty then. Thank you anyway. I've never been more frustrated with a roadside assistance and someone who refuses to bring out an air pump. Yeah, we don't have the technology. What we can do is tow your vehicle. Yeah, but I just need an air pump. Yeah. This might take all four canisters. I hope not, but like, hey, if it gets me home, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Oh, someone's actually driving up here. Got all the tools you need? I'm hoping so. All I really needed was an air pump and I have some canisters and I might get it filled up. I patched it. it. I had a flat tire. I ran over a possum, a dead one, and a nail went in his nail. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't suppose you have an air pump. Do. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Just see if it works. That's always the question. All right, what you got? It's not super fast. It's supposed to work off a battery, but we'll see. It never works off okay. a battery. I was pointing at that actual air pump back there, not that this AC. Not this. I said, you're not going to get that out. No. Plus, you couldn't run it anyway. An air pump. Yeah, there is an air pump. Okay. That looks like PSI. What do you want your PSI to be? Was a limiter? Can you do 40? 40, yeah. And then we'll push the power button. Or is that yeah, set or that's reading? Yep, let's that's now just push the power button. Let's just see. There we go. Very, uh, very cool. Now I've never patched a, a hole. I, I I don't know if this is gonna retain with that patch or if I'm meant to replace the tire as soon as I can. <sighs> Where are you heading? North or south? Oh, I'm going south. I, I got two days ahead of me. So I... Can I make it home? I think so. I think I think if I can make it home, then I'll stop pushing my luck. And when I'm home, I'll have it replaced or something. Or, or take it to a shop and they can pull it off and they can do a 
what I would call a real repair, yeah. not a field repair. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping. Sure. This, this is pretty awesome. And you came at just the right time, just when I realized I don't think I'm gonna be able to the rest quite fix not this. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm I'm happy to help. So. Thank you. And this go quick. Yep. Maybe there you go. Perfect. Awesome. This is my YouTube, so you'll be oh in the my. video later. Oh, really? Sure, you're, really? you're the guy who saved my flat tire. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm Dane. Oh, uh, Walter. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Walter. Well, very cool. I'll I'll look it up. Oh. Appreciate your help. Sure, sure, no problem. I just gotta make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> I was happy to test it out for you. <laughs> awesome, right. you good then? Yeah, I'm gonna make a call before I take off. Fantastic. So thank you. All Have right, a good trip. Time. Take care. Hey, it's future Walter in the present to talk about the past. So the GoPro audio for the next two hours was corrupted and or missing, and I didn't want to throw the footage away, so I'm just gonna talk over it. I rode into town and got some air to top it off, hoping that that was the end of my tire woes, which you'll see it's not. Stopped for lunch at Chick-fil-A and came across some people who were surprised that there are BMW motorcycles and were equally bewildered that I had a GoPro on my helmet. Then I went across the street to get air a third time, but didn't get the air because I didn't want to pay for it. So I went down the street to a tire place but their free air nozzle would not fit in my tire. So I went up the street some more to another tire place and they said that they could not put air in motorcycles. So I went back to the gas station that I didn't get air at. I realized that the tire was not going to last two days because it was losing air very rapidly. So I went to the nearest motorcycle store, got some more air in it and tried to find a tire that they might have to replace mine with, but they did not have anything that would fit. So it was a fruitless venture. And I realized at that point I had no choice but to just keep chugging along and stopping to get air as often as possible. Alrighty then. So I don't know what I recorded and what's being used. So in case you don't know anything, let me explain to you what's going on. Where we are now is it is leaking. It is at 30 according to this. And the plan is two things. One, I'm not gonna be able to ride along the, ride along the coast. That's gonna add three hours that I don't have. I've already lost a lot of time. And uh, the shorter I'm out on the road with this damaged tire, the better. So the plan is take the fastest route home and just constantly try to put air in the back tire when I stop, which is gonna be difficult for a few reasons. One, I don't know how well that hole's gonna hold up. I assume it's leaking progressively and gonna get worse. I got four hours and 40 minutes of driving time left today. That's probably gonna be six hours. And, oh, now it's flashing red. It's gonna be on the whole trip. If you see it the rest of the way, that's what it is. Flashing yellow, flashing red, it's trying to warm me. It says 30 in the back. It's been sitting at 30. It isn't leaking that fast, but whatever. Hopefully it's just enough for me to keep filling it and going. But now there's nothing left to do but to put on the miles and get going. So let's get going. Sorry? Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> you, do you want to see yourself in the video? Yeah, well, later, but I'll get you, I'll show you where to see it later. Thank you. And this is for you. That's the YouTube channel that I have, and it'll be on there later. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, you, you asked for one, so you get one. This tire puncture is just getting worse and it can't even retain for like 20 minutes. It can't hold the air. That's just really bad. I'm gonna try to find 
some kind of place that has the tire and can put it on in the morning between here and home. Problem is, <clears throat> I have 30 minutes to call around before everything closes, so it's looking not good. Okay, so preferably where I'm sleeping would be good. I'm calling to see if you have a certain tire in stock. 170, 60, 17. So, no thanks, I I wouldn't, that won't work, but thank you for looking. I'm calling to see if you have a certain tire in stock. 170, 60, 17. If I could get there first thing in the morning, could I get my rear tire replaced? Oh, that's awesome. Um, I, don't, I didn't pick between the two. Uh, that he selected but as long as either options available I'll get one done I'll be there by 10 and do you need any information for me before I show up thank you sir I appreciate you all right bye MCC motorcycle center okay it's gonna cost you a lot of money but at least now I have a place to get to I still have to make an hour 40 minutes with a tire that doesn't want to hold air to where I'm sleeping and then in the morning I gotta go half an hour from there to the shop so I got realistically well at least two hours more of riding on this tire there it is there's the hole there's no way this thing's gonna work oh well i tried i'm tired it's exhausting man just fighting the bike the whole way very very fun Oh my gosh, it wasn't even recording. Okay, well I just pulled in, just commenting on how much this sucked. And um, my shoulders are so sore because for the past hour and a half I've been riding all tense, holding on, being a good little piggy, but just waiting in fear that the tire's gonna explode, slip off, never did. Fill it up several times, even though I just really wasn't holding air anymore. Oh, not fun. I made it, and I was saying, uh, so let's go to a mini meet tonight. But uh, I'm not taking this; I'll just Uber there and back, so that's safer. And then I gotta get this to the shop in the morning, which is half an hour away. But I might just have my insurance tow it there because that's probably paid for anyway, so that would be safer, and I'll have time. Because between the time I get up at seven and ten o'clock when they open, that's three hours to get there, so I might do that instead. So. I think the danger and the crappy riding is over. Uh, I want to kick that, but it's not mine. <laughs> All right. Soon it will be pizza time. Thank you. Hello. I have a couple orders. Okay, that'll be 53.30. All right. Thank you. Thank you, too. Yep, too hot. Oh, I definitely. Yeah, especially with that flat tire. Yeah, definitely have a big pushing it. <laughs> if you want to engage the suspension and clear the fairings. I think that is probably your best bet are the crash bars. So you go in here, pull them down, it'll load, and then you're not gonna scratch anything. A little bit right. Keep going straight. I got caught in the rear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the rear is gonna get in trouble. Just give me a push, here we go. Excellent. I would vote strapping the left one or two more notches yeah at least now it's kind of balanced yep how do you want to strap the back either the passenger legs or somewhere on the frame <laughs> where are your tie down points are these down yeah right here yeah it, you can run a single strap through here and then one ratchet if that makes sense so you yeah. have a hook and a hook and one ratchet Oops. Yeah, it's pulling down on here. On my zip tie. Yeah, I got that zip tie. But that only holds this on. So there's yeah, one there's one, one there's one left, so it's not going anywhere. If you want another strap, what I can do is just pop this off and you can run a strap up through and on top of this metal plate and through here again. I don't 
think it's gonna matter a whole lot, but if you want no, to, we yeah, totally yeah, can. Uh, yeah, I don't, I think it's not gonna get much better, unfortunately. Yeah. But it's your call. Ready for a road trip? Yep, it's going to the uh, park. Yep. You need some more space for your bags? No, it's, gonna, it's gonna have to sit on my lap because there's no room for it. Okay. It has to come with. Here's the thing, this is all my gear. Oh. So this was gonna be on my body anyway. Uh -huh. And I figured this is more comfortable than actually wearing it for hours and not being on the bike, so yeah, it's, it's a trade. I was in a motorcycle accident a year ago. Uh -oh. I was cut off by a drunk driver, but I was only going um, 30 miles an hour. So I only got a few cuts and bruises, but I'm okay. Is your bike destroyed? Yeah, the bike got totaled, the forks got bent in, uh -huh. and the fairings got messed up. I'm glad you're okay. What kind of bike was it? It was a 2000 uh, Ninja 500. When was the accident? Uh, it was last year, June. Have you not ridden since? I, uh, I have ridden since, but I haven't uh, replaced my bike yet. Oh, why is that? Uh, my insurance still hasn't paid me for it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it was um, a hit and run. I was gonna say, I guess the driver got away. If yeah. He's not paying for it. We went from a five degree camera to like 15. <laughs> yeah. Definitely slipping. Danger zone. I think it just slipped down. Yeah, I think the rear wheel is off of the tread. Cool. Yeah, it landed right on the chain right here. Well, at least it's okay. I think. Yeah, the back strap is a little bit loose, so. Okay, My first of all, let's lower, let's lower the skid to the ground a bit more. Yeah, is it not pulling too much to the right? Not too much, we'll make it. Yeah, it's going a mile away still. Yeah, we're, it's fine now. Yeah, it'll, it'll be make good it. for the rest of the mile. Yeah, where did it make contact on yeah, this? It made contact along here. Just that's it? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what it's for. You wanna see where they want it dropped first? Oh, the building, sure. If you don't mind me waiting for me to go past. Yeah, I need to fill out the rest of the bill. Okay. Showing up for a tire replacement. I don't know what side of the building to drop the bike off at. This side or that side? That big door? Okay, thank you. Let me get on it really quick. Yeah, but I may as well as I'm not doing anything. Very cool. I'm Walter. I have a motorcycle. I'm getting a tire replaced. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look bad, but it drives bad. And yeah. <sighs> if you see soon. All right, Thank you, sir. I'm, I'll be back up in the front. Okay. Um, you're the parts guy? Yeah. All right. Just on the one tire? Just the rear. Okay. Um, there's a Pirelli that's yeah, no. sitting out by the desk. And then you can throw that one away because it's pretty useless. Thank you very much. Yeah. There's a gas station right there. There's a McDaryl's. I can get a drink and a breakfast. Sorry, what? Yes. Why don't I want to go here? Okay, if you don't want to, we got a lot of people don't like McDonald's. I'm just saying, if you like McDonald's, okay, but if there's a mom and pop home, mom and pop all homemade food right over here. That's Is it in walking distance? Oh, yeah, they have a block right over here. Sweet. Right there, you can see the red side right over there. A little yellow side. Awesome, thank you. All right. Appreciate it. There's my bike. There it goes. Well, thank you again. I was pretty much screwed. It's like, I need a tire. I can't go anywhere. Do you just have the one scrambler? You use that around town. Yeah, that's kind of your, okay. your everyday. Me too. It's a scrambler that's never going to scramble. <laughs> I like my R19 series, and I chose that one over form over function. Mm. Or function over form. The uh, 
of the R19 series, that's the only one that the exhaust is high enough that you don't have to remove it if you have to remove the rear tire to replace the tire right. or do the oil surface on the bevel drive. As I'm getting older, I'm becoming more function over form as well. How'd you like the restaurant over there? It's all right, thank you for recommending it. It was kind of funny, the minute I, t I sent you over that way, two ambulances ended up at McDonald's. <laughs> I want to be on the road by noon that is possible because i have to do this and i gotta to get to a gas station and get gas get water Okay, the morning is finally out of the way. It's 12, 10, 12, 15. I was trying to get this all done by 12, but I spent half an hour being lost, looking desperately for a gas station. I just couldn't find one, which is ironic. I thought closer to the city, there'd be more, but on the side of the highway, usually I read signs that say, hey, gas here, but there are no signs like that. And my map wasn't finding any. So I pulled off a couple times, and first time was a bus. There was no gas stations. And then pulled off again, there's another one 10 minutes. Like, well, I gotta get a gas because I'm out. So I got gas, I got water. And now, because of the half hour I spent looking in a half hour to the shop this morning, I have seven hours left. It's noon. Um, realistically, I'll make it back at about nine. It'll probably be a little after. It'll be just getting dark when I get home. But uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be with this tire. And I was totally wrong about it. I hope there's no tire stuff. Yeah, it turned into a whole fiasco. Tire situation sucked, but at least it's operable. It's not that bad. Um, don't think I'm going to leave it that way, but now I have a bike that can get me home. Hope I don't jinx it. <sighs> These pizzas are not going to last. I think it's hilarious, by the way. Pizza time. You just, I could put a stack of pizzas, but it's like 90 degrees and humid. It's so hot. Those are going to go bad. I, I hope not. We're going to find out because my family is supposed to have them tomorrow night. Eh, it's the thought that counts, but we'll see. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Gonna get on the road? Huh? Let's go home. fall off if I don't fix this now. You want a cookie sample or a cinnamon roll? Oh, those are free? Yeah. You want a cookie? No, thank you. you. Just I, one thing is I, enough. Okay, you enjoy. Thank you. You wouldn't happen to have a set of Allen keys, would you? Possibly. I'm on the motorcycle when you have free time. If you have them, could you come by with them? Sure. I just need one. Yeah, no, no, don't rush. Thank you. A few things here, maybe. Maybe is way better than I had a few seconds ago. Right? That looks like a Torx, which yeah, one? These are all gonna be too small. And that is all you have. I appreciate the help anyway. Have a good day. Good luck to you, man. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Those pieces are totally ruined. There's no way. Hey there. Yeah. Any chance any one of you Mamma Jammas has Allen keys? Rents? Yeah. I'm going to auto the auto store to tighten this because I don't have any. Unless you happen to have a key set. Probably. Yeah? Yeah, no problem. Thanks. What do you need, brother? Just an Allen? Yep. I can't tell you what number it is. I'm guessing six. I hope it's not buried too much. You just saved me a trip into town to borrow a key. It's not a big deal, but I have to address it. Otherwise, it's just going to get loose. So, where are you from? Where are you going? Sturgis. So, you're going to the South Dakota Rally? Oh, yeah. Yeah, when does that start? Uh, Friday. 
It's interesting. I only knew about it because I stopped in Michigan and there's a guy riding from Maryland and he's also going to stop by Sturgis for that. And then he's going to ride around the uh, edge of the country and do a, a loop counterclockwise. So I heard about it that way. Let's see what we got here. My man should have just about anything. He this right here. That right there. Yeah. That one work. That one will. Oh, yeah. There's some loose ones in here. There's some stars. One Help of these. To whatever you need, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's that's all I need right there. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody use a sidecar just to store stuff. Yeah, I noticed. You opened it up, was like, oh wow, you got you could just live out of that bike. So what are you doing after Sturgis? So that whole trip is how many days? Uh, two days there, two days back. Then two weeks there. Two weeks there. Okay, yeah, that's a while. Yeah. If you're ever in Indianapolis, man, I got a garage called Jay's Sons Garage. Jay's Sons? Jay's Sons Garage, right here in Indianapolis. Thank you, Jay. No problem, brother. Have a good ride. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. All these people out here just saving my ass. Taco Bell, let's all go to Taco Bell. Where did it go? Not your burrito, take me to Taco Bell. Hi, thank you for choosing Taco Bell. How are you doing today? I'm alright, how are you? I'm doing great. Do you know what you like to order? Would you like a couple seconds? Do you have chalupas? We do. Do you recommend I get a chalupa? I appreciate you actually taking time to think about that instead of just saying yes. I am thinking because personally I like the Power Bowl better, but... Um, I don't want a bowl because I'm too lazy to use a utensil, but I've never had a chalupa before, so that was the idea for that, unless you could think of something else that I might not have had before. Well, if you're going to get a chalupa, I recommend the chicken. It tastes good. Okay. Um, I guess the... Chalupa Supreme combo will be fine. Okay. Good. Hello. But yeah, actually, can you hold on to that order and I'll come inside and eat it there. Okay. I do want to eat quickly because I want to go home. But I also am too hungry to wait until I get home and unpack and shower. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to eat now. All right. Uh, I got rejuvenated with some Taco Bell. I got just one more bout left to do. It's an hour 40. And I was realizing when I came in here, man, I'm so glad that it started cooling down. It was 98.5 at one point. It was basically 100. That sucked. But now it's like 84. That says 91. That's still hot. But it's way better. I'm tired. My buns are tired. My tires are tired. I still am going to have to unpack, put everything where it belongs, and shower. It's going to take, well an hour and even then I won't get everything done I'll just get mostly everything done probably immediately tomorrow after doing other things I'm normally obligated to do happy to say that because of this trip I've learned some things about myself and this bike like what things I'm going to need on other trips next trip I don't know if I mentioned is going to be me and my friend Jordan we're going to do the mid-atlantic BDR it's a BDR trail on the not the east coast but eastern half of the u.s that is planned for next month six days first two days went exactly as i expected and it was great two days there also pretty much what i expected and was also great 
the two days back kind of went wrong but not that wrong yesterday I was slowed down and it was really stressful with that bad tire and today was also slowed down because I had to be out in the morning for way longer than I wanted and that's gonna make me get home later than I'd like but I am getting home in town in time and it's also raining and this guy is just sitting in the passing lane yo-yoing me his car is full I don't want to be around him because every seat in his car is full except for the driver's seat which is another reason why I wonder he's in that lane because you can't see out of this passenger door. What is that? It's like a huge... What are all the pigs? I was like, it's like a huge dog. What is it? It's pigs. I couldn't figure it out. When I bought this bike and I customized it, and that was like a, a few weeks of me just working, I never recorded it or made any kind of video about it, but uh, if you guys want it, I guess, I will record myself tinkering with the bike in the next, well, I say in the next few days, but by the time I'm done tinkering with the bike, this video will only then have been edited and uploaded, so I don't know. Let me know if you like this stuff. I, I could just, I could make videos about everything. I usually don't. I usually just do my own thing. And the idea with this kind of video, with the camera on my head, is it's just you coming along. So it's not like I'm really changing what I'm doing. I can still ride the bike for myself. Aside from like talking, which I don't mind doing, but usually when I'm riding, it's like this. It's very boring. This trip went great, but I gotta say, I'm very disappointed with how expensive it was. Paying to board my dog is the biggest expense. And then the other second big expense is sleeping places, Airbnb or hotels. I really, I need to just buy some gear and then put in the time to learn how to camp. That's a goal of mine. I just am hesitant to buy things, but I do want to do camping. Buying the gear is gonna cost some money, quite a bit in fact, but if I camp enough, I'll end up saving over time. So it's kind of like an investment. I'm not sure I'm ready to do it. Paying for a hotel or whatever is convenient, but in the long term, I'd like to be able to, like on a trip like this, if it's two days somewhere, stop on one day and sleep outside, whatever. And then maybe I'll make videos about that if I do it. Just, yeah, just me trying to figure out how to start a fire in a propane tank or whatever, or a regular fire, or good wood, I don't know, whatever. It sounds like fun, but again, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wouldn't be fun. Maybe it would suck. But I want to do it. I have a great bike for it. Oh, it's actually, I'm tucked down enough behind the windshield by sitting like an onion that I'm not getting wind in here, but if I sit up, oh, then it gets bad. But just for you, keep this down. Riding without any music is pretty peaceful right now, but I'm in the middle of listening to a movie. I really like listening to movies, especially on trips. And for some reason, listening to a movie really helps me just, uh, what's the word? Make the trip easy. It feels like I'm not even riding anymore. It feels like I'm watching a movie at home or something because my mind plays the images when I listen to the movie. And so that helps me travel. It makes traveling easy and fun for me. But anyway, I am going to get back to listening to my movie. I should be able to finish it before I get home. And when that's over, I have music next ready. Nighttime music because it's going to be dark when I get home. I'm going to get home. I'm going to put the camera on my head and just walk back and forth to the bike between my bike and my room, moving and unloading and unpacking things. It's going to suck. And then I'll end the video before I go take a shower and that'll be that. So, hope you guys liked this video. Thanks for watching the whole thing, almost. I will see you on my next trip and other stuff. <laughs> Bye. Alexa, turn on normal. Alexa, turn on the fans. Okay. So sad. Why is my brother on the floor wrong? 
my brother is on the floor roaring because he's dead.